Hello, my dear aspirants. Welcome to Gurudev ISKS and Banking Academy. This is your Ravi sir. So today we are going to solve the most expected questions for 2023. That is for MTS examination. Okay. So let us see what are the questions and how to solve with the short tricks as well as the traditional method. Let us go with the first question. What is the first question? The first question. The first question is D1 and D2 can do a piece of work together in 16 days. Okay. D1 plus D2 can do the work in a, how many days? 16 days. Okay. Next he has given D2 and D3 can do the same work together in 24 days. Okay. D2 and D3 are doing the same piece of work in how many days? 24 days. Okay. Next sentence. While D3, D1 can do it together in 48 days. The same piece of work they are doing in how many days? 48 days. Who are doing? D3 and D1. Okay. D3 and D1 are completing the same piece of work in 48 days. Okay. Next. What he is asking? In how many days can all three working together do 5 sixths of the work? He is not asking the complete work. He is asking how what work? 5 sixths of the work. 5 sixths of the work can be completed all together. First of all, we have to see here. D1 is repeated two times, D2 is repeated two times and D3 is repeated two times. So, before that, the first step is we have to calculate the LCM of this. If you get the LCM of this one, 16, 24 and 48. Okay, 16, 24 and 48. If you go with the LCM for this one, you can go with this one like 8, 2 is a 16. This one 8, 3 is a 24, 8, 6 is a 48. Next step, 2, 1, ja, and this one will be 3 remains as it is, and this one will be 2, 3, ja, 6, okay. This will be 3, 1, ja, 3, okay. 8, 2, ja, 16, 16, 3, ja is how much? 48, okay. So, LCM will be what? 48, okay. This will be the, 48 will be the LCM. This one will be considering it as total work, okay. This will be total work. Now, if I go with the multiplication of this one, 16, 3, ja is how much? 48, this one, 24, 2 is 48. Next, 48. 1 is 48. This one we call it as efficiency is nothing but the capacity. Okay. Efficiency. 3, 2, 1 is nothing but how much? 6. Okay. But 6 is what? The total efficiency of D1, D2 and D3. But they have repeated 2 times. So, it divided by 2. Then this will be how much? 3 efficiency. Okay. Now, 3 is what? All together. Okay. Now, 3, this one is 48, total work is what? 48, okay. But he is telling what? 5 sixth of the work, okay. 5 sixth of the work means 5 by 6. This one is 6 one ja, 6 8 ja. There is nothing but 40 work, okay. This is 5 sixth of the total work, okay. Whatever you got here is nothing but what? The efficiency. Efficiency of what? D1 plus D2 plus D3 efficiency, okay, D3 efficiency is how much, all together we got 3 as efficiency, okay, so 3 as efficiency, so this 40 work can be done by all together in a single day is 3, so this 40 will be divided by 3, okay, so option number 4, 2 will be the right answer, is it clear, okay, here the important point is why we are dividing by 2, because D1 D1, D2, D2 and D3, D3 all are repeating 2 times. So, we have divided this efficiency by 2. We got how much? 3. This total work is divided by 3. Okay. Clear? Okay. Let us go for the second one. During a journey of a person travels half of the distance at a speed of 18 kilometers per hour and the remaining half journey at a speed of 22 kilometers per hour. What is his average speed for the entire journey? Okay. He is asking the average speed. Okay. Whenever he asks the average speed and in the given data, there are two speed. One is 18 kilometers per hour. Another is 22 kilometers per hour. Whenever he has given the two speeds. Okay. For that, we have a small formula that is nothing but 2AB divided by A plus B. This is what average speed formula okay average speed formula okay what is this a a is nothing but the speed one okay b is nothing but the speed two okay what is a is given 18 okay if i substitute this value a and b 
if I substitute this value in the equation, okay, in the formula, 2 into A value is 18, B value is how much? 22, okay, divided by A value is 18, B value is how much? 22, okay, if I calculate this one, in the denominator, 18 plus 22 is how much? It is 40, okay, this is 40. I will not, I will not multiply this thing because that will be cancelled very easily. So, I will keep the numerator as it is 2 into 18 into 22. If I cancel now, this one is 2 1 ja, this one is 2 2 ja and this will remain the 0 as it is. Next time, if I divide this thing, okay, next it will be what 2 11 ja, this is 2 10 ja. Keep as it is because 18 11 ja, 18 11 ja is how much ja? 192 okay sorry 198 okay so we have the decimal the 10 over here so one decimal in one decimal should be placed behind the 8 that means 19.8 kilometers per hour will be what average speed of option number 4 will be the right answer is it clear okay so average speed formula should be remembered whenever he has asked the average speed okay let us see the third one. Okay, third one. The compound interest on rupees 20,000 at 5% per annum compounded annually is 2050 rupees. That is 2050 rupees. What is the time period he is asking? Okay, whenever he gives uh, like this, when he is asking what uh, the time period he is asking. Okay, if you see the data over here, okay, if you see this 20,000 and 2000. 50 rupees okay he is giving how much 5 percent okay now to calculate this one you can apply formula or you can calculate like this like uh, if you are if you are applying the formula okay what is the formula amount is equal to principal okay into bracket 1 plus r divided by 100 whole risk to t what is amount amount is nothing but compound interest plus principal is equal to principal 1 plus r divided by 100 whole raised to 10 correct so what is compound interest he has given 2050 rupees okay 2050 rupees is the compound interest 2050 rupees plus principal is given as 20000 okay principal is 20000 okay again p, p stands for principal principal is 20000 into bracket rate of interest is 5% so r is 5 divided by 100 whole raised to t because t stands for the time period correct so if you solve like this the time consumption will be more you will get the answer over here but before that you just check what you should check successive discount formula okay successive discount formula says a plus b plus a into b divided by 100 okay from this you can get it very easily correct now, if I check this one, if I apply this 5% over here, both sides, this will be 5 plus 5, this will be 5 into 5, okay, A and B value, I have taken it as same, okay, divide by 100, if I solve this one, this will be 10, this will be 0.25, that will be 10.25%, okay, 20,000, okay, 20,000 into 10.25%, okay, if you calculate this one, 10 percent is nothing but what? 2000. 0.25 percent is nothing but what? 50. Correct? So, if you 25 percent, okay. If you calculate for 20,000, okay. 20,000, the 25 2 is how much? 50. Correct? So, if you calculate this one, you will get 2050. For how many times I have written? 2 times. Okay. 5 percent, 2 times. The answer will be what? 2 years. Okay. Whatever he is asking, I, I got it from the discount formula. So, for 2 years of time, okay, I am getting what interest? 2050 as the interest. Okay. So, from this, you can calculate easily which formula from the successive discount formula. Clear? Okay. Next, the fourth one. The fourth one, Sandeep buys a toy car for rupees 500 and sells it for 625 rupees. What is his gain or loss percentage is asking. Obviously, whenever we purchase for 500 rupees any product, I am selling it for how many rupees? 625 rupees. 
I am getting how much profit over here? I am getting 125 rupees more. Okay, I am spending how much? I am spending 500 rupees. I am getting how much? 125 rupees. So, this will be called as cost price. This will be called as selling price. And this will be what? The profit. Okay, he is asking what? Profit or uh, sorry, gain or loss percentage. Gain is nothing but what? The profit. Okay, so for profit percentage. Okay, for profit percentage, as I can see, 125 rupees I am getting. So, profit percentage. Profit percentage will be what? Profit divided by profit divided by the cost price okay always remember the profit percentage or the loss percentage is always what Pro profit or divided by cost price okay loss percentage will be loss divided by cost price okay now profit is how much 125 rupees i am getting so 125 rupees profit divided by what is cost price cost price is 500 okay 500 into 100 because Percentage is asking so into 100. This 0, this 0 get cancelled. 5 1 ja, 5 25 ja. That means 25% I am getting what a profit. Okay. Option number 3 will be the right answer. Clear? Okay. Next question. The fifth one. What is the value of A if A is equal to 50 minus 4 into 5 plus into flower bracket 6 divided by 3 minus 1? Again, into the bracket, flower bracket will be closed and square bracket will be closed. Okay. For this, you should know what the basic thing that is Bodmas rule. Okay. Bodmas rule. What is Bodmas rule says? Bodmas says the B stands for bracket. Okay. Next. O stands for off. That is nothing but the multiplication. Next. D stands for the division. M stands for the multiplication. A stands for the addition. S stands for the subtraction okay these are the what this is called as what bormas rule okay according to this we, we need to solve the simplification always okay what he has given we need uh, we need to find what a value is nothing but what this is given okay 50 this is minus 4 into 5 plus into flower bracket 6 divided by 3 minus 1 again flower bracket close and square bracket close always remember First, you should small the bracket. Okay. Whatever the bracket you are seeing in the in a, uh, this one, what uh, the smaller bracket that is nothing but uh, the flower bracket. First, we need to solve flower bracket. Again, in the flower bracket, I am seeing what division over here. So, in the flower bracket, 6 divided by 3 minus 1. This one is 3 1 ja, 3 2 ja. This 2 minus 1 is how much? 1. Correct. The whole uh, now, uh, the if I solve this one. I am getting what? 1 as the answer. Okay. Coming to the outside of the flower bracket. Here there is a plus sign. Here we have 4 into 5 as 20. Here we have minus 50. Now, uh, 50 minus 20 is how much? 30. Okay. This one is what? Plus 1. That is nothing but uh, final answer. I am getting how much? 31 as the answer. That is option number 3 will be the right answer. Clear? Okay. These are the questions. You can expect the uh, in the MTS 2023 paper. Clear? So, for the more updates, uh, daily current affairs, test series, job notifications, magazines, uh, please subscribe the Gurudev IAS case and Banking Academy channel. Okay. Also, join the Telegram channel. Follow Instagram channel. Follow us on Facebook. Okay. All the best. Thank you.